Welcome, folks, to Farming Simulator 22 Top 20 Must Have Mods. And I can tell you, because we just started our mod series today, I went through all the mods that I could find. Um, these are for all platforms, by the way. And for our mods, modded series that we just started, I wanted to make sure I knew what mods I wanted in, in the pack in, I, or in the pack for playing our series and I figured I would save you guys the time since I just went through and checked them all out and show you guys the top 20 uh, must have mods for Farming Simulator 22 guys. And for this top 20 mods list for Farming Simulator 22, I want to make sure we have uh, all mods, you know, a good selection of mods, not just all maps or just trailers or whatever it may be this is gonna have a little bit of something for everyone in it folks also i want to keep this video short so let's get started guys from realist miss modding we have the government subsidiary mod yes of course this mod was going to be in the list uh, this is a mod that generates a bunch of money for you now the reason it's down low in the list is i feel like if you're uh, just using it to build a big farm and uh, you know just to cheat basically it's not very helpful but for me for like this world where i show off mods or i test mods out or test mechanics out it's super handy um, and i would definitely recommend that you just place down a sign in advance time and it gives you a set amount of money for example uh, these give you a hundred million dollars a year and uh, these ones do I believe it's a one million or something like that a year uh, or a hundred thousand a year and you can see the month totals down there at the bottom at number 19 we have the classic two row planner by dogface Oh yeah, I'll admit, this is one I dislike quite a bit, and to be honest with you, who wouldn't like this? This is just a well done, cool mod, looks great, works great, and uh, just really like the aesthetics of it. Really cool mod. At number 18, we have the Honey Pallet Warehouse by Tarxy 7 If any of you guys have done honey pallets before, you will know... That this little honey pallet station that you get with in the factory game only does one or two pallets and it is a really pain in the butt so this mod actually you can build a building and as you can see right over here we already have one and it takes all your honey pallets and stacks them very neatly of one of my absolute like necessity mods in farming simulator just a really great mod at number 17 we have calms den farm the map from oxygen david this is an amazingly well put together map mod here in farm simulator 22 one of the best it was really hard to put it lower on this list but i didn't want to fill the top up with maps the, it has some really cool fields in like rolling hill fields and a really cool farm it, that comes with even uh, some horse you know obstacles a horse barn a cow barn chicken farm and uh as you see here we are in uh, the sheep pasture really well done mod i love it our number 16 mod is the wilson pace center pack from sb farms this trailer mod has two different trailer combinations here with a cool amount of options. As you can see, you can change the colors just like this. And honestly, it, you, it is a very handy mod because you can actually separate the trailers out if you want and use them at how many, uh, you know, how, whatever capacity you need to use them at. And it is a very handy mod also happens to look pretty cool as well at number 15 we have the placeable filling stations mod from at zvr and this is a very handy mod that allows you to put refill stations 
wherever you would like, including your farm, so you don't have to make that pesky drive to the shop. At number 14, we have the Lizard Duras 60-foot header mod. Not only is this header massive and get the job done quick, it can actually be attached to the uh, top three harvesters, including the X9, um, the X9 harvester mod. It can be equipped to these four right here, guys. And not only that, but its header trailer also has a, you can paint it, and also has a 200 liter diesel tank also attached to the trailer. Our 13th mod is the Clawson Chrome Baler Pack with the Lizard R90 by Hispanol. Both the Crone version and the Kloss version of this baler combined wind rowing in this mod with uh, the regular baling and makes your tie, it kind of skips a process for you and helps you out quite a bit. Also requires 250 horse, which is uh, not a lot of horsepower to run this machine. At number 12, we have the buyable large stack of bales mod, mod by Mech Mods. This uh, bale mod actually allows you to buy bales up to 30 at a time, and then when you buy them, places them in a nice, neat stack for you to come get. At number 11, we have the Case IH 7200 series by Matt26. Easily my favorite tractor mod with all the customizations you can do to it, making it even go as far as a, uh, as you look over here, we can even turn it into the Steyr version, which is really cool with a ton of different options on it. Just a really well done mod and my favorite tractor mod in Farming Simulator 22. Our 10th mod on the list is uh, the No Man's Land mod for Farm Simulator 22 by Alien Jim, and he will not be the last time you see him on this list, nor will this be the last map mod on the list. No Man's Land is a very popular map where you start out uh, on the map with basically nothing on the map, and it is yours to develop. With, and you have to start with a limited selection of uh, tractor equ and equipment. Um, and all of it, as you can see, has hours on it, which makes it a very unique and very interesting map to me. Kind of just, it's a very, uh, you know, limited by your only, ima your only your imagination. Truly is a great map. At number nine, we have the Ponj Trailer Pack from Universe uh, Simulation Modding. This mod has various, various trailers in it from low loaders all the way to animal transports to, as you can see, bale loaders right here, which are very handy. Also, they come with a auto load feature that you can turn off or on, um, which is very handy in case you don't like auto load. Uh, some of us, uh, feel like out of load is a little too easy. <laughs> I'm one of them people, obviously. And it has different, you know, uh, folding mechanisms that you can have on it as well. Um, and the auto load is pretty, pretty handy if you want it to be. <laughs> also, the auto unload feature is not bad either. The eighth mod on the list for Farming Simulator 22 is a Decorative Details Pack by Triangles Trouble. This is just an incredible pack. I don't have enough time, obviously, to show you every one. But this is basically the base game um, decorations all taken up and made so that you can actually place them where you want. Number seven is the John Deere X9, the 2020 version of it, from SIID Modding. This X9 mod has a ton of different variations you can do to it. Um, one of the most incredible harvester mods in Farm Simulator 22, even with the radio changes 
and rear hitches and the pipe differences. There's so much to change on this actual harvester. Also, this harvester works great with the 60 foot header mod and is a must have on big farms with the capacity to be doing 2,700 liters. Also, it doesn't hurt that it has racing numbers. At number six, as we get deeper into our higher tier mods, we come across the Lizard Subsoiler, the six meter and nine meter variants from Black Sheep Modding. Not only is this probably the best subsoiler or plow in the game, but when it comes to, to field creation, this is by far the easiest one to use in the entire uh, mods list. Just an absolute necessity when you're creating fields. The first mod in our top fives is actually two of them. It is a tie between the two log trucks by HR Forest, the uh, Phoenix and the TGX. Both these trucks have a crazy amount of accessories and different things you can do in different setups you can do with the truck uh, that it is actually almost laughable how crazy you can change up your vehicle that if you want to do so um not only that they are very easy to operate and very easy to use and even if you weren't logging with them the power and uh, uh the all the customizations you have with them make them super fun just to pull normal uh, semi-trailers with. At number four, this one may surprise you, but honestly, this might be my favorite actual mod for myself personally from 82 Studio. Uh, it is the 20-foot gooseneck trailer. This trailer mod has a ton of customizations, including the deck, whether it is a gooseneck or a bumper pole, and obviously you can paint it a ton of colors. Now, when it is in the gooseneck state, you can actually hook it up to a semi as well. Otherwise, you can pull it with a pickup truck. And as you guys know, early game, it's really hard to get a good trailer. For me, this is perfect for handling pallets and equipment when you're first starting out and getting new equipment. And it even has a adjustment to make sure the trailer is going level um, and it does actually have the um, little the uh, stands as well uh, for it just absolutely one of my favorite mods in the game at number three we have the bavarian farm pack mod from bernie ses with 15 different building pieces i only have time to show a few but here are some of them in the buildings, including the cow barn, which has a really cool little storage up here that you can place bales and then bring them right down here to this really cool cow barn. I really like this. Very well done and uh, very polished. At number two, we have the Old Stream Farm from Black Sheep Modding. This map is just a really well done map. It is very new. Um, and as you can see here, it's got some nice rolling hills, uh, really nice little houses. The, the farm that you start on is great. If you guys want a closer look at this farm with all the pens and equipment and stuff that you start off with, and you do start off with quite a bit, you guys could check out uh, the modded let's play series we just started on this map i show a world tour of this i just want to add the more that i play this map because it is brand spanking new the more i actually really 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 do like it it just seems to get better and better as i play it at number one it is all the placeable packs from Alien Jim here, there are three of them that are just really incredible. And obviously, I will not have the time to uh, go ahead and show you each one of these things. There's not enough hours into the day, 
but if you are doing your own farm customization whatsoever these are a must have uh, hopefully hopefully you found some mods on here that you didn't know about before or maybe found found watching this um, let me know down in the comments what your favorite mod is i know it's really tough to pick one maybe throw down like five um these are my favorites on this list we have them in our let's play series we just started i can't wait to use them even more and uh we'll see you next time folks have a great day